Hey everybody, thanks for dropping in. Jake here from Pixite. Today, we're gonna go over setting up a workflow for taking those sweet designs you've got just burning a hole in your assembly My Work panel and bringing them to life with some animation in After Effects. So if that's something that you're into, stick around. And if not, stick around anyway, because there's some great info in here that you don't wanna miss. Here's what we're making. So first, we're gonna wanna hop out to our My Work panel and make a copy of our design. We'll need this later. All you need to do is select your design and then hit this button. All right, now we're ready to dive right into that design. Okay, so we're gonna pause right here for a second and do some big picture stuff. What we wanna do essentially here is we want to take your design and break it apart into the smallest pieces that you want to animate individually. So for example, on the rocket, we're gonna wanna have those two boosters fall off at some point. So we need those to be separate pieces that we can work with when they're in After Effects because if they're all one piece, they're gonna be hard to separate. We're gonna make sure that none of the pieces that you want animating individually are gonna be overlapping. Okay, unpause. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna start by moving things around and just basically making them fit all on the page. So nothing's cut off, nothing goes over the edge, and everything is easy to find. Like that third cloud is gonna be difficult to find if it's hidden right next to something that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, basically just organize it however you think makes the most sense for you to find later. Okay, so now I'm gonna start basically breaking things apart down to the smallest piece that I wanna animate. So with the rocket, that's basically the only thing that I'm gonna really break apart into small pieces because I want them to move independently. So in this one, things like the earth or the moon that are a complex shape with a lot of little shapes within them, you don't really need to break them apart because we're animating it all as one chunk. So in your animation, basically just group or ungroup things as needed. And look, this is kind of tedious, but trust me, trust me, this will save you a lot of time on the After Effects side of things. So do yourself a favor and spend a little time just making sure that things are clean and neat and orderly. So once again, on the earth here, I'm gonna make sure that this is shrunk down so that it fits within the bounds of the editing space so that when we export it, we have the full thing. Um, this is gonna be important so that if you wanna rotate something, like we're gonna have the earth spinning a little bit, you don't end up with a cutoff edge coming through in your After Effects composition. So it's okay, this is vector art. This will scale up and down pretty easily. So go ahead and shrink things down to whatever size you need to make it fit. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna go over to export and we're gonna select a PNG with a transparent background. This is gonna be important because you're gonna need all those shapes to not have a background so that you can mask around them and not have to worry about hitting those edges perfectly. Okay, so now we're gonna back up to the home screen and we're gonna go to that copy of the original design that we made earlier and we're gonna export that out as well. This one, you can do a PNG with the background included. Basically, this is just gonna be a reference so that when it's in After Effects and you're bringing in like 20 or 30 assets, you can figure out where things lined up so that it looks like what you designed. So now you're gonna wanna hop in your Photos app and just double check to make sure that they're both exported. And it looks like we've got our version with and without a background. So we should be all set to animate. Thanks. Here in part two, we're gonna go over some tips for how to set up your project file so that when you begin animating, you can hit the ground running. Once you've opened up After Effects, you'll first wanna go up to Composition, New Composition. Now, you can name it whatever you want, but I'm gonna stick to my boring name and convention I always use. The rest of this stuff can stay the same as the defaults unless you need a different aspect ratio or frame rate. Don't stress too much about the section though. You can always go back and change it at any time if you need to. Okay, let's make some folders in our project bin. I'm gonna make one and call it Compositions. You'll never guess what's going in there. And then I'll make one called Footage, or Designs, or whatever you feel like calling your digital assets from assembly. I'll stick with Footage for now. Sweet, so now we have a place to put our compositions and a place to put all of our digital stuff that we made in assembly so that we can find everything super quick and easy. In this next section, we're gonna go over organizing things in the timeline. 
All right, pause for a second. Okay, this is sort of a do as I say, not as I do situation. You'll notice under source name on the timeline, I left it as it was. Just a messy string of numbers that tells us nothing about what that layer is. Do yourself a favor and name every layer. This will make zipping around and animating much easier, and you don't have to click on the layer to know what it is in your composition. Okay, unpause. So we're gonna take this reference photo of our original design before we rearranged it, and we're gonna resize it in our composition to fit. You'll notice mine leaves some black on the sides and doesn't fill the whole frame. That's totally fine. We're just using this as a rough reference for where things will go before we start animating. Next, let's drop our rearranged design from assembly into the timeline. Let's go ahead and resize that a bit to fit as well. Okay, pause for a sec. This next section gets a little dense, so let's make a quick roadmap of sorts of what we're trying to do. I think this will help you follow along if you get lost. The end goal here is to get the project file all set up for animation. Right now, as it stands, we have two layers to work with. A layer of the finished design with the background as a reference to see where we need everything to go, and a layer with a transparent background with all the assets separated out so that none of them are touching. This next section is going to involve separating each piece off of the transparent layer and arranging them to fit over top of the reference design. It's a tiny bit more involved than that, but as long as you know that, you're golden. Okay, unpause. Before we get started really masking everything out and placing layers where they're going to go, let's handle that background issue. We need to take that background color block that we made, throw a quick mask on it, and scale it up so that it fills the entire background. Since mine is a solid color, I don't need to worry about how it lines up. As long as it fills a frame, it's not a problem that it bleeds outside the work area. Perfect. So now we have a solid color background and the reference design in place. What we want to do next is drop our transparent background design we made in assembly on top of our timeline and scale it down to roughly the size of the reference layer. Next up, we're going to start the really tedious part. You'll use the shortcut G while selected on your layer to bring up the pen tool and start masking around your first shape. Once you've finished masking, you can move that layer around and scale it to a bit more precisely fit over your reference layer. Then you can either make a copy of the layer you just masked out, delete the mask, and start masking your next piece, or just drag in a new copy of your transparent background design to work with for the next piece. From here, you'll want to keep repeating this process until everything is lined up and individually masked out. And in the interest of keeping this tutorial nice and short, I'm going to fast forward through my process of doing this section. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You've now got a nice and organized timeline, and you're ready to start animating in After Effects using the designs you made in assembly. We love seeing what you make using the tools that we make. Tag us at assembly app or leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of this tutorial. Happy designing and happy animating.